Now, automated patterns in the forward or reflected view are a little more complicated. We're gonna talk about those a little bit later when we switch to an elevation drawing. But keep in mind, you can also add a pattern in the forward view, such as a floor pattern, for instance, by simply drawing on top of the drawing, right? So it's, it, it's nothing wrong with adding additional detail on top of the drawing, since your dynamic view is simply referenced in here as the model is updated, you know, the reference gets updated, but whatever you draw here will remain. And so for instance, there are some hatch and pattern tools in the common tools. Um, I'm gonna just select the uh, cross hatch. So these are just like what we were using in the family and part system. You can do a hatch, a linear hatch, a cross hatch, or a pattern area, a pattern cell. So I'm gonna select the cross hatch area and I'm gonna put in a spacing, for instance, of two feet by two feet. We'll do a 45 degree angle. I'm just gonna do some tile here in the, the lift lobby. Now we could drop the pattern, which would give us a bunch of individual lines that could be manipulated. Or we could keep it associative that would allow us to move its outer border and have the pattern readjust itself. And we can make that pattern snappable. So we could snap to its intersections if we need. I'm also gonna go ahead and, and set a level. So we'll just use a floor and I'm just going to do this. And then I'll just select the, the draw the boundary so I can simply draw. We could also flood or select an element in the model, but I'm just going to draw that here between the column line and the walls. And then a right click will place the pattern. One thing to watch out for is I had annotation scale on. And, and since our drawing set to eighth inch, it's, it's making this very large. So I'm gonna actually undo that and we'll turn off that annotation scale because this is a floor pattern. We want it to be true scale. And now we get the pattern that we're looking for. Now you may note, it's probably not exactly placed the way we want, but there are some modification tools up here. So there is an option to change the pattern. And one of the options there among, you know, we could change its attributes, but we could also change its intersection point. So I'm just going to come in and select the pattern and then pick a new intersection point. And now I've got it aligned the way I'd like. And of course, as I said, we could modify its outer perimeter. So if I wanted a little bit of a border here, Perhaps I bring it in one foot on each side. The Alt key will keep it orthogonal. And again, I might have to reset the intersection there. But now you have something that's visible on the drawing and easily modified. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.